when talking about what the word ultimate means when speaking in terms of a skill build, this means every single skill, regardless of the type, being insanely powerful, having the ability to rely on any one of them to achieve the goal no matter the obstacle. If you want to destroy a group of NPCs grouped together by using secret mines, taking advantage of the clusters, or you just like the idea of a sniper turret tactfully neutralizing enemies at the push of a button, that's an option as well. There's also the burst to firefly that perform like heat seeking missiles and detonate once two of the marked targets come within close proximity to one another. This is what ultimate means and I have just a build for you to achieve this. In fact, over the years it's gotten way better as it's evolved, shockingly so, because the weapon I'm using feels like a cheat code. So let's not waste any more time as I break down for you this ultimate skill build guide. Okay, <laughs> all right, I know a lot of you are waiting for this one, the ultimate skill build. And when it comes to skill builds, they're different from hybrid builds, but they've changed. I haven't used an, a pure skill build in a long time, and that's because hybrid builds are simply more versatile to me. I'm not going to say they're better. Everybody has their preference because you can maximize skill damage with these pure skill builds. I just like to do more when I'm using builds. And hybrid builds do that for me, but skill builds are really good too. They allow you to breeze through legendary missions, and they allow you to do a lot when it comes to skills because the whole skills library is your playground. And someone made a comment on my ultimate hybrid build video saying that this is not the ultimate hybrid build. This combination, which was his comment, is the ultimate hybrid build, and you can do this, that, and the other. I'm just thinking in my head, okay, if you say so, and he was right in a sense, but he was not correct in that his suggestion, from my perspective, is the ultimate hybrid build. His suggestion, which I was already going to come out with, is the ultimate skill build. You see, when the Ninja Bike came out, the Memento backpack kind of got overshadowed in a way. People stopped using it, including me, because I wanted to explore the Ninja Bike backpack and what it can do. And it took a while to actually come out with builds with the Ninja Bike backpack that were actually viable because a lot of people were saying that because you don't have the backpack talent, it's no purpose using the Ninja Bike backpack. That cannot be further from the truth. But when it comes to the ultimate skill build, you have to go and dust off your Memento backpack because now this is where the ultimate skill build lies. It gives you all three core attributes just like the Ninja Bike. But what the Memento backpack does, it says enemies you kill drop a trophy on death. Collecting trophies provides both a short and long term buff. The first of which scales with the number of core attributes equipped and last 10 seconds. So here's what it gives you automatically when you get a trophy. The short term buff, 5% weapon damage, 10% bonus armor, and 5% skill efficiency. Skill efficiency is insane. Skill efficiency is like weapon handling, but in the skills category. Like you know how weapon handling gives you reload speed, swap speed, stability, accuracy. Well, skill efficiency gives you skill haste, skill damage. It gives you everything that you need in that category. For the long-term buffs, it says for every trophy collected, you gain an additional 1% weapon damage, 1% skill efficiency, and 0.1% armor regeneration for 300 seconds. And the maximum stack is 30, so you can get 3% armor regeneration, 30% weapon damage, and 30% skill efficiency. This is insane. So when you're in those long legendary missions, this will make you pretty much a skill build god, right? <laughs> I just don't really see a backpack like this for the ultimate hybrid build because the purpose of the Ninja Bike bag allows you to have way more brand pieces than you see here. For this, what you see is what you get, and that's fine. That's okay. Because what I have for this is a three-piece Empress International. Now, I'm going to just be honest with you, okay? The attribute composition you want on here, for me, when it comes to skill builds, when you have six skill tiers, you're automatically going to have the amount of skill haste that you need to have your skills readily available, especially with the Memento Backpack. Once it's maxed out, you have these long and short-term buffs. Your skills are going to be coming back in no time. So, skill haste isn't really a necessity when it comes to these builds. For the attributes so my attribute composition will be skill damage and crit damage that's what you want i don't have it all on here right now 
but that's the goal, right? This is supposed to be skill damage. I just haven't rolled it. Now, I'm just be completely honest with you guys. Some of you tell me, I can't believe you're a content creator with this many subscribers and your gear isn't optimized or you don't have the right attributes. Well, <laughs> all of this stuff is expensive, man. When you have expertise and we have all of this stuff that you're trying to upgrade all at once, and especially the fact that I make so many builds, my resources are scarce. So I'm not able to have everything that I want readily available. But let me get into this, okay? The chess piece I have is Empress International, and the three piece gives you 10% of skill health, skill damage, and skill efficiency. This is great. Adds on to the memento skill efficiency. So Empress International is, is pretty much goaded when it comes to skill builds. Now, the chess piece, the talent is called Glass Cannon, where all damage you deal, weapon and skill is amplified by 25%, but you take a lot of damage. But when you have skill builds, you're not gonna really be taking no damage. You're gonna be sitting back, your drone and turret is gonna do a lot of work, and you're just gonna be doing what you gotta do because you have the capacity, right? You all know what this does. <laughs> this is gonna deal insane damage. I have a six tier skill build. And you get 7.5% weapon damage for each skill tier, plus shooting enemies build stacks to a cap of 40, so, you get, so you're gonna get 60% skill damage. And this is just pretty much meta for skill builds and hybrid builds. For my secondary, I'm using an Urban MDR with damage to target shot of cover with NSYNC. NSYNC basically doubles your weapon and skill damage, but you know, this is secondary to the capacitor. You don't even really want to use this unless you have some weapon cores to make this damage more. And people are sleeping on this weapon, this Maxim 9. This right here is the technician specific specialization pistol with perfect spike. Headshots grant 25% skill damage for 15 seconds. This is crazy, right? And it has no cooldown. So this is just a, a good weapon to use if you're sitting back. You don't really worry about shooting your weapon. You can just sit back and let the skills do all the work, okay? I have a uh, Empress International Mask. This is unrolled. This is how it came. Isn't that crazy? Crit hit chance and damage. Now you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll this off and put skill damage here. So I could have this crit damage I need to deal more damage with my weapon. And I have skill haste mods. See, that's what I was talking about. You don't really need to roll skill haste anywhere. You have skill haste on the Brazos, Carlos Holster. It gives you 10% skill haste for the first piece. And you need two pieces of this. You see, because normally, you know how in the hybrid builds you have the ninja, the ninja bike backpack. All you need is the first piece of Brazos is going to give you the second. And if you have the second piece, it'll give you the third, which is magazine size, which is crazy. But all I need is a two piece here in order to get the, the one skill tier. This is what increases my armor. You see how this is rolled to an armor core and it's giving me 1.1 million armor. Also, the fact that the Memento backpack gives me another armor core. That's why I said these skill builds have evolved over time. Since I haven't used them for a long time, they have gotten better. So now it's kind of like getting into that hybrid area, but not really. I'm still trying to maintain the skill. Now I'm going to roll this off and roll it to skill damage. As I said, I just haven't farmed for the materials. I just made the ultimate hybrid. I just made the ultimate tank. So my resources are scarce, as I said. But here are the skills. Now you see how it says 13 second cooldown. This is with no skill haste rolled. And this is going to be even less once you get those memento stacks. So it's crazy, right? You get the maximum bonuses for this. 91,000 damage per shot. And this is going to be increased. This is just what you have base. This is not with any of the buffs or anything like that. Okay. And then you got the drone. 14 second cooldown. Same thing. These are both great skills. They act as decoys. As soon as you throw these things out, the, in, the NPCs target them completely. So here are the stats. And these skills... <sighs> they don't go down like this one it does not go down it's crazy the first piece of empress international is skill health and that's another thing that skill efficiency increases skill health yeah so this is pretty much the perfect skill build the ultimate skill build matter of fact is not the ultimate hybrid this is for your skill build i'd say let me know down in the comments what you think what is your ultimate version of a skill build and like I said, I love when you guys comment below letting me know what builds you're using. And if this helped you out in any way, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel, especially if you're new here. I love to have you. I'll see you in the next one, fam. Be right out.